hey, so I'm trying out a new intro. I don't really know what to say, but I'm kind of getting sick of my, hi everyone, it's Lizzie. So hi, it's Lizzie, and this is a new Q&A video. So I went onto Snapchat and Twitter and asked you guys to ask me some questions so that I could film this. I mean, you, you guys gave me some questions and now I'm gonna have some answers for you. <laughs> so the first one comes from Ashley and she asks, what is my favorite book so far of this year? Okay. Unfortunately, I haven't read as many books this year um, as I did this time last year, but I'm getting there. I've got a stack to read, but so far, I think I've only read five or six, and this has been my favorite so far. It's called Every Day by David Levithan, and it's a really interesting book. The blurb kind of gives you an idea about what's gonna happen, but then the book in itself is like even deeper than that. It's like even deeper than that. Every morning, A wakes in a different person's body, a different person's life. There's never any warning about where it will be or who it will be. A has made peace with that, even established guidelines by which to live. Never get attached, avoid being noticed, do not interfere. But then of course, A wakes in someone's body and he has a girlfriend who he develops a thing for and we go from there. They try and meet up here and there and he tries to, sorry, I shouldn't say he because A is not established as either male or female. They do not identify with either gender because they wake up in a girl's body and a guy's body. And I really like that about David Levithan. He deals with it really well. David Levithan has also written Will Grayson, Will Grayson with John Green and Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. I never actually read a book of his just by him. He also follows this up with a book called Another Day, which is right here. It is told from the girl's point of view. The girl's name is Rhiannon, and it was really interesting to flick back and forth between these two. As much as it took me a little bit longer to do that, I really enjoyed it because it gave just another perspective on this super interesting story. The next question comes from Jasmine, and she asks, who are your favorite YouTubers? At the moment, I am really binge watching Lily Singh, I Go Superwoman, I I Superwoman even, Jenna Marbles, I am in constant love with the Sukoni Jollies. I live for Dan and Phil Games videos, like oh my goodness, can they please upload another one now? It has to have been a week, right? Like, it's really rude of me, but I really hope they've filmed some to keep up with while they're on tour at the moment. Oh, I really love that Zoe's been hanging out with Mark Ferris so much lately. The two of them laugh so much that it makes me laugh so much. So I've gone onto Mark's channel to watch like a whole lot of his and I'm enjoying his stuff a lot. Oh, Nikki Tutorials. I absolutely love her makeup videos and she's hilarious and she's introduced me to Chloe Morello who is an Australian and I hadn't heard of her before until a makeup guru from Holland introduced me. Seriously. YouTube. And I'm sure that I will have missed someone in there, but they are the main people that I have been binge watching lately or when I see a new video I click on it I'm like, oh my goodness, more content from them. <laughs> How exciting. Oh, okay, so Sarah asks, what color do you want to dye your hair other than blue? Well, I think everyone has realized that blue has been here for quite a while. I think it's been seven or eight months now, and I'm still really enjoying the blue so much. I never knew that I would love blue hair as much as I have, but I realized the other day, one color that I would absolutely love, you'll have to excuse Delilah in the background, she's discovered the bean bag. There is gonna be noise from that. So the other day I realized a color that I really want to do, it is really hard to upkeep and I know this from not personal experience but like personal secondhand experience. My friend has done their hair like this. Yeah. I really want to have silver hair. Like I've had white blonde hair and then it's almost been proper white but I want to be like silver, like glistening wonderful silver hair. I think that would be amazing. Kevin asks, what are the top three countries you want to visit in the world and why? Ooh. I think about traveling so often, it would be like my brain's autopilot to just go back to travel. Where will we go next? I would absolutely love to go back to Japan. I absolutely loved it. So if I could go back there, I absolutely would. <laughs> It's the trifecta of absolutely's. So you know that I must mean it, right? Freaking loved it. And yeah, I would go back there in a heartbeat. I really want to go to New Zealand because my goodness, that place is freaking beautiful. So many of my friends have been there and I just am in awe and quite envious of their amazing experiences through their photos and their stories. 
so I absolutely want to go to New Zealand. I feel like I want to be more adventurous and say somewhere a little bit out of your usual destinations but right now I'm feeling like France. I really want to go back to France. I loved it so much and I just want to travel around the whole country pretty much. So they're my three answers for today. <laughs> um, Adam asks what is your favorite Starbucks drink or coffee? drink or coffee. Specifically ask for coffee, so let's answer that one. My absolute favorite Starbucks drink is not frou-frou, whipped cream, extra hazelnut, macchiato, sprinkle this and then I'll have a strawberry rainbow drink. Yeah! I love Starbucks. <laughs> My favorite is the hazelnut macchiatos. Macchiatos. <laughs> I absolutely love them. They unfortunately are not stocked all year round and I didn't even know I liked macchiatos until I tried them at Starbucks because they are not the same at other cafes, let me tell you that. I went from Starbucks macchiato to another cafe, asked for the same thing, nowhere near the same, so don't be fooled. Do not be fooled. Hazelnut macchiatos, absolutely, I love them. They are like a seasonal drink, and at the moment they should be in right now. But unfortunately, two drinks have come in and one is not hazelnut macchiato, so. On a non-coffee related note, I love Starbucks ice matcha green teas frappuccinos. I don't know how to say it, but I know how to drink them and they're delicious. And I also love their hot chocolates. Signature hot chocolates from Starbucks with soy milk, because that's how I drink. My, my milk and my coffees and non-coffee related hot beverages. Their hot chocolates are scrumptious and I love them so much. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> and Casey asks, who did you have your first crush on? I don't know if he knew I existed. He probably didn't. Okay, so I was in probably grade two. I would always go on and on about this guy called Video. Video did this, video did that. My parents had no idea someone called Video. Like, did they even exist? Or is Lizzie making him up? I didn't know if they asked around at school, like to my teacher, or if they got me to point him out for them, but let's pretend I pointed him out. And then my parents found out his name. His name was Theo. There was no kid called Video. Theo is such a nice name too, but I decided when I was younger it was not a nice name because, pff, excuse me buddy, your name is now Video for life. I don't know if I ever even spoke to him, but I had one mighty crush on him for a grade two year old. That doesn't make sense. Yeah! So that's my first crush story. That was a really cool non-awkward pose at whatsoever all words. So that's it for the Q&A. So it's gonna be fun editing with my word stuff talk. Anyway, that's it for this video. I don't know where I swung my arm across in front of myself. Let's just hold it over here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up uh, or a little one. That's okay as long as it's still a thumbs up. Thanks. And don't forget to click subscribe as well, wherever that is down here and stuff, so that you can see more videos from me if you would like to. You don't have to, but if you'd like to do that, then that's something you can do. Yeah. I hope that you have a really lovely day. Okay, bye! That's the main reason I've been away, because I've just been struggling to get through that. That's not to say that you shouldn't tackle projects that you think are too big for you. 